we already know a system and surrounding is separated by a boundary and the boundary is of different types they may be permeable boundary or adiabatic boundary or diathermal boundary and because of that matter and energy can be exchanged between the system and the surrounding on the basis of that there are three types of systems they are open system closed system and isolated system so let's understand them one by one first of all let's understand open system what is the meaning of open system open system is the system in which there is a exchange of both matter and energy between the system and surrounding okay exchange exchange of both matter matter and energy so there is exchange of both matter and energy in case of open system let me explain that with a diagram suppose this is the system part and around it obviously there is surrounding yes now here it is this is the boundary right now let us consider this boundary is permeable this boundary is permeable if this boundary is permeable that means anything can be exchanged so matter as well as energy will be exchanged or they will uh, either get or they will either gain or they will either lose okay with the surrounding they will directly exchange matter and energy with the surrounding an example of that might be if you take hot water in a cup or a glass then what will happen after some time some matter that little amount of water is evaporated and the volume of water decreases and energy also gets transmitted that means hot water gets converted into a cold water so in that particular case matter as well as energy has been exchanged so that is called open system and in this type of system the boundary is permeable that means anything can be exchanged okay number two is closed system closed system this is the type of system in which only energy gets changed but matter do not get changed let us take an example if the boundary here if the boundary here is diathermal diathermal that means it can only let the system to exchange its energy but matter will not be exchanged example an example of that is if you take a bottle water bottle and if you put 1 liter of water in that and if you leave it in uh, sunlight then what will happen after some time it will gain some heat energy but is the matter changing will the volume of water decrease or increase no the volume remains the same only the temperature is changing that means only the heat energy is being exchanged but matter is not exchanging so that type of system is called closed system that means only heat is exchanged exchanged and matter matter remains same matter remains same that is the matter is not exchanged between the system and surrounding and the last one is isolated system isolated system isolated it is clear from the word that means it will not exchange anything with the surrounding it will neither exchange energy nor matter neither energy nor matter matter is exchanged between the system and the surrounding and in this particular case the <coughs> wall will be adiabatic that means it will not let anything to change an example of that is if you put hot water in a thermos flask then what will happen after some time as well the temperature remains the same in the matter do not ma even the matter do not get exchanged right so in that particular case neither matter nor energy is being exchanged and that type of system is called isolated system so i hope you understood about the three types of system